perception, a word that evokes the essence of how we experience the world around us. Yet beneath its surface lies a duality, cognitive responses, which are deliberate and calculated, and pre-cognitive responses, instinctive and deeply rooted in our evolutionary history. Our cognitive responses are shaped by the frameworks we build, our education, our culture, and the lessons passed down through generations. These factors determine not only what we perceive, but also how we interpret it. Imagine sitting in a room with several other people, and you are asked to observe an object on the table. To you, this is an apple. Your brain has analyzed that it is red, it is round, and has a green leaf, perhaps based on your cultural understanding or past experiences. But the person beside you sees a tomato, shaped by their own experiences. And the person on your other side sees nothing at all, perhaps filtering reality differently based on what they expect or believe. So who is correct? Believe it or not, all of them are correct. Perception is far more complex than what meets the eye. Though we rely heavily on our vision for conscious understanding, our subconscious tells a different story. Sight, after all, is merely a fragment of how we process our environment. Have you ever felt the unshakable sensation of being watched, even when no eyes are visible? This eerie phenomenon occurs because our subconscious taps into subtle cues, shifts in air pressure, changes in sound, and even the primal intuitions encoded in our DNA. These precognitive responses are remnants of a time when survival depended on sensing the unseen predator in the shadows. Perception is a quantum phenomenon. At its core, it's uncertain, fluid, and shaped by the act of observation. For humans, perception is more than sight. It's a superposition of inputs, uh, collapsing into awareness through the filters of instinct, culture, and education. This depends as much on instinct as it does on the stories we've been taught. This interplay of instinct and learned perception raises a profound question. What happens when we try to recreate this process in machines? Unlike humans, whose perception emerges from the unpredictable interplay of biology, culture, and intuition, AI's perception, unlike ours, is deliberate and constrained by programming. Yet in some areas, it can surpass human limits, processing vast amounts of data with precision. But could it ever develop the quantum intuition that allows humans to sense the unseen predator in the shadows? That remains the ultimate question. Is it an apple? Is it red? Is there even a table at all? These questions reveal how AI perceives only what it's programmed to understand. Unlike our subconscious, which weaves together a tapestry of sensory inputs, AI relies on strict parameters. In the quantum world, the observer defines the outcome. In both quantum mechanics and perception, the observer shapes reality, whether that observer is a human mind or an AI program designed with specific parameters. This is where humans hold an edge. Our perception is layered. Conscious awareness, subconscious intuition, and even precognitive instincts allow us to navigate the unknown to sense the predator in the shadows before it strikes. Could AI ever replicate this quantum intuition, or will it remain bound by the limits of its programming? Perception, whether human or artificial, is never absolute. It is shaped, molded, and filtered through the frameworks we create. And as we dive deeper into the quantum mysteries of existence, we are left to wonder, can machines ever truly perceive as we do? Or is perception itself the ultimate frontier?